Oh! 
take a deep breath in and out. Now, let's all humble ourselves and say a very small prayer to Jesus and tell him everything that you want to tell him. All the children, eyes closed, hands together. And everyone pray to Jesus right now. Tell him everything you want to tell him. It's good to see each and every one of you. Are you ready for the service? Yes, I hope you enjoyed the worship and the icebreaker. I am ready to give you today's word. Now, a few weeks ago, we started our lessons about who God is. And last week, Auntie Joan told us that God is forgiving. We learned that when we sin and we ask God to forgive us, he forgives us because he loves us. And the week before that, Pastor Robert taught us that God is love. That is why he expressed his love when he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And the week before that, Auntie Nancy taught us that God is unchanging. He never changes, all right? Seasons change. We change, but our God is the same. And guess what today, children? Today I would, like to, I would like us to learn that God is all knowing. God knows everything about you. You and me, everything. God knows that you need food. That is why he created food for you and me. That is why we eat food. <laughs> yes, even God knows that we have to drink. That is why we have drinks in our homes. And even he knows that at some point, you will need to go and pee. And sometimes, now listen to these children, sometimes some of you, you pee on bed, and then you tell your friends, it rained on my bed. But God knows that you peed on bed. All right? God knows everything. We can never hide away from, from God. He knows even your words. Before you speak them, he already knows 
Okay? There is a man in the Bible. He's called David. He also realized this. All right? So I would like us to turn to our Bible in Psalm 139, and we read it together. All right? So turn to your Bible. I'm going to read from my laptop here. Okay? Are you there? So this is what it says. Verse 1 says, Psalm 139. Lord, you have examined me. You know all about me. You know when I sit down and when I get up. You know my thoughts before I think them. When I go and where I lie down, you know well everything I do. Lord, even before I say a word, you already know what I am going to say. You are around me, in front of me, and in back. You have put your hand on me. Your knowledge is amazing. It is more than I can understand. You see, children, even David knew that God knew everything about him. So I would like us, me and you, to just point out a few things in this psalm. Uh-huh. The first one, anything? Good. Uh-huh. Another one? Excellent. Yes, David knew that God knew him when he stands and when he sits down. God knew David personally. And I want, to, I want you to know, children, today, that God knows you personally. He knows when you go to bed. He knows when you wake up. He knows when you need food. He knows everything about you. Even when you're in a hard situation, God knows you. He wants you to trust him. He wants you to depend on, on him. There's a story in the Bible that I would like to share with you. This story is about this man and his wife. They lied and they thought that no one would ever know about their lie. But remember that God knows everything. All right? So long time ago, after Jesus went back to heaven, the disciples stayed and they preached good news to everyone. So many disciples started helping people. People, some of the disciples would go and sell their properties, bring the money so that they would help and provide for people in, in need. So there was this man called Ananias and Sapphira. They sold their property. They went and sold their property and kept some money for themselves and then took some little money to Peter. Ananias went out to Peter and told Peter, this is the money that we have sold from our property. But guess what? God knew. So God spoke to Peter and he told him that Ananias was telling a lie. So and Peter asked Ananias, is this the money? Is this everything that you sold from your property? And Ananias said, yes, this is the money. This is what we got. Yeah. But God knew everything. So Peter told Ananias, you have not lied to me, but you have lied to God. And immediately Ananias fell down and he died. He was taken out and buried. Three hours later, Sapphira came and Peter asked her, is this all the money that you sold from your property that your husband brought? And she also said, yes, that's the money. We don't have any other money. So Peter looked at her and asked her, why have you decided to lie to God? Do you hear those footsteps outside? Those are the men who have just buried your husband. And they are going to bury you too. And immediately she fell down and she died. When people got to know about the story, everybody got to know that you can never lie to God. That God knows everything. Even when your mommy is not there or your daddy to see you doing different things. I want you to know children that God is watching. He knows everything. You can never hide away from him. You see children. He even knows that you've not given your life to Jesus. 
and he wants you to give your life to him. He wants you to accept him today. He wants you to trust him and depend on him because he knows everything. He knows what was in the past. He knows what's in the future. He knows everything about you and me. So if you're there and you would like to give your life to Jesus, this is the moment. Don't wait for tomorrow. This is the moment. All right? So I would like us to pray together. And we ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. So if you're there, I want to put up your right hand and put your left hand on your heart. And then you repeat after me as we pray this prayer. So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, I thank you that you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for your word. Thank you that you know everything about me. Today, I choose you as my Lord and my Savior. Jesus, write my name in the book of life because today I belong to you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've done an amazing job. The Bible tells us that whenever one child or one sinner gives their life to Jesus, there is a big party. <laughs> Better than your birthday. Big party in heaven. So right now, before I go, I would like to pray for all of us. Even if you have given your life to Jesus, I would like, I would like to pray for each and every one of you that we will remember who our God is. All right, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for the beautiful lessons that you have been teaching us. Thank you that you are unchanging. Thank you that you are our love. Thank you, Jesus, that you are forgiving. And thank you, Jesus, that you are all-knowing. You know everything about us. Jesus, for the rest of the year, help us to trust in you. Help us to, de to depend on you. We love you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So, children, before I go, I would like to remind you of our weekly challenge. And this week you're going to read Psalm 139 from verse 1 up to verse 6. I want you to memorize it by heart. Okay? I want you to write it down. Where there is me, I want you to write your name. Write your name and memorize it by heart. Otherwise, God bless you. We love you and we are praying for you. Remember, God is all-knowing. Bye. Thank you, Uncle Kapale, for the lesson. Now, let's learn our memory verse. Our memory verse is coming from the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 20. It says, God knows everything. Let's repeat one more time. First John chapter 3 verse 20. It says, God knows everything. When God knows everything, he knows what you think about, what you did, what happened before, and what will happen in the future. Let's repeat it one more time. First John chapter 3 verse 20. It says, God knows everything. Welcome back, children. Yeah. Get ready. We're going to sing one last song together. Everybody yeah. up on your feet. All right, are you ready to dance with us? Yeah. Let's sing together. And chains are broken. You have spoken. It is free. Jesus, you have set me free. Come on. Nothing. And nothing's gonna bring me down. Cause Jesus has set me free. And I'm free. Come on. Indeed. I will. I will give you praise. With everything I am, I'll praise. Whatever may come my way. You have won. Victory. 
you so, so, so much. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed this service because I had so much fun. Remember, God is all-knowing. This week's challenge is memorize and personalize Psalms chapter 139, verse 1 to 6. Let's pray. Lord Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for everything that you've done for us, Lord Father. Please protect us. Please provide for us. Please forgive us for all the sins that we have committed, Lord Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. See you next time. Bye. Bye.